Hey guys, let's talk about some visual effects about my latest video. So for the selection screen on the weapon list, I dropped a effect called CZ Starburst, which as you see, turns the edges into spheres. And you can just adjust uh, the, the size of your sphere, even the speed and the scatter. So I've started off with a fractal noise and set the noise type to block. Then of course a find edges. And of course set the opacity around 50 and invert. And again CC starburst. And if you set the blend mode to original or the blend to original to around 50% it blends really nice with the background. And of course drop a noise on top of it with around 10% opacity, just a little bit. So for the countdown screen, if we start off with the, the small countdown, I use the effect called numbers which allows you to set, make these digital dates or uh, these really advanced countdown effects. Again, fractal noise with a mosaic, a find edges again, and of course again CC Starburst. And with these effects like mosaic and find edges and CC Starburst, just mess around with the settings until you get the, the result that you want. And to top it off of course, I dropped again a noise on top of this. Again for the background I used Fractal Noise, Find Edges, and of course CC Starburst again, and another noise. Now for the big countdown number I used a Fractal Noise, Find Edges, and CC Starburst, and Noise. Well, for the hit effect, I used a charge from Video Copilot's uh, Action Essentials pack, but you can also use like a fractal noise layer to make this. And I started off with Mosaic, Find Edges, CC Starburst, CC Radial Blur to give these edges a little bit of motion, and that's about it. And afterwards, doing the editing, I just adjusted the mask every time to so that the shape looks different every time the gun hits something. Or the bullet hit something, I mean. <laughs> well, for the muzzle flash, I used a muzzle flash from Video Copilot's Action Essentials, of course, and I dropped a mosaic on top of that, a find edges, CC starburst, CC radial blurs, just to give it a little bit of motion at the end, and then just a glow. For the tracer fire, I started off with the effect called Beam, followed up by mosaic and find edges again, and then three layers of glows, which are all adjusted differently, of course. And to animate Tracer Fire, just adjust the time setting. So for the elimination screen that pops up, I only used a CC Starburst just to give it a little bit of a grid effect and then I duplicated uh, my text with a TV noise below it. I did the same thing for the cross in the background. And of course for the background, for the cross I used fractal noise, mosaic, find edges. And for the cross fade in, I just messed around with keyframing the, the brightness inside the fractal noise. So as you can see, I mainly use a lot of the same effects on different uh, templates, to say it like that, to create the results that I wanted. Thank you for watching. Of course, check out the hologram tutorial that I made if you want to learn a little bit more. Subscribe, check out my social media, and I'll see you guys the next time.